Hey folks, Jonathan here. Picked up a couple old buggy springs. Uh, and since I don't have a horse, I think I'm going to make them into a bench. Uh, just a little thing I'm going to do when I get time, and I'll video it as we go. But uh, they're in pretty good shape, kind of rusty, but uh, rather than let them go to the scrap, I'm going to do something with them. And uh, I definitely don't want to build no buggy. But uh, I wish I knew somebody that had actually used them and needed them. I'd make sure they got them, but I figured that uh, that's not very much of a buggy. There's a whole lot more to it than what, what this is. So we'll see what we can do with them, and I'll show you as we go. Hey, folks. Jonathan again. Got to work on that bench that I started on here. The uh, built out of the buggy springs. Got the frame belt for it. It's just a old piece of angle iron and uh, just some scrap I had laying. Uh, did figure out one thing. This must have been a buckboard or something. One spring has got three leaves and one's got four, and top and bottom. And uh, so I, th I think the rear one would have been, you know, I guess to, to haul a load, sort of like a pickup truck. But what we're going to do is. Uh, set it up just like it is. I mean they're the same height and uh, one side might be a little softer than the other so I guess the heavy person needs to sit on the the stronger side but uh, we're gonna I was gonna do the legs but I, I don't want to do the the legs down on it yet until I figure out my my actual seat that way I can get the height right on it but uh, I'll show you what I'm going to use for the for the base of the seat Okay, what I got here that I'm actually going to use for that deck on that bench is this, uh, these old mufflers. Uh, I'm going to use the covers off of them. And uh, they're off of, uh, actually off of a KW. And uh, I stretched it for a friend of mine and put, uh, I think I put about 71 inches in the frame. And he wanted a big box on it. And it's actually right, right there. And... Uh, he didn't want the pipes on it. He's gonna run them some other way, but my part's done. I just stretched it and set the box on it and mounted it. But uh, anyway, we're gonna uh, we're gonna use these covers and the mufflers. Was, they were shot anyway, but we're gonna use these covers for the for the bottom and the back with the holes in it. So I'll get them off there and show you more. Okay, folks. We got them off of there. That was some of them bolts that you wish every one of them would break. They come out hard the whole way. Anytime you're done with exhaust, it's going to be that way anyway. But uh, here's the other one. And I just pushed down on a little bit, straightened it out. And uh, we'll have some more straightening to do. But I think that'll make a, a good bottom and back. And uh, we'll play with it a little bit. And, Okay, what we're going to do, or what I want to try to do, I want the front of this seat to have some roll in it. I don't want it to be sharp uh, on your legs. So I'm going to take this piece of pipe and I'm going to put it in here temporary. And then uh, I'll weld this to the front and then I'm going to wrap it over it and bring it back. And then, uh, of course, I was going to do my sides first and then form it to it but changed my mind a little bit here but uh we're gonna see how this works out and then uh we can cut the sides and put the braces in after i guess we'll see what it looks like okay we got it tack or uh clamped on the front here and uh we we're gonna probably weld it on the inside and then uh, maybe put a few tacks on the bottom under the lip when we're done. And uh, we don't want it to sort of fold loose from it when we go to bend it. But we'll get that and then we're gonna lay the pipe in and maybe might have to temporary weld it in. And then, uh, then we're gonna try to see what we can do about bending this thing. We'll 
see how it goes. Okay, we've got the shape started like we want it. Uh, we clamped this pipe in, we was able to clamp it on each side. And we're bending it around it. And uh, because this is double lit, they, they folded it over on the ends here and pressed it. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to get it straight, but we're going to take a couple of plates and put down and clamp them down and see if we can get all of that straight. It'll come back. Okay, we clamped the sides down and uh, we've got it fairly straight. So we're going to start pulling it back toward the, the end here and tack welding it on. And then uh, we're going to pull these off and just see what happens, see what it looks like. Uh, this thing's shiny now, stainless, so, you know, it looks kind of wobbling. But once we, uh, we're going to hit it with some light sandpaper and try to rough it up enough to get some paint on it. So once it's all painted, it won't look as bad. Uh, we'll see how it turns out here. Okay, got all the brackets off and the pipe out of it, and uh, it's pretty much what I wanted. I wanted it rounded at the front and to come back at an angle. So, you can see we tacked it across the, the back here. Now, remember the ends of these, the sides of them are also turned over and crimped from the factory, so. Uh, that stainless is you know, pretty strong on the edges. Uh, we'll have to tweak it a little bit, keep playing with it, and, and actually get it exactly where we want it. And put some bracing in there, but that's basically what I was looking for. And uh, I think when, once we get some paint on it now, the legs in the back, it'll turn out to be a nice little bench. I'll show you more as I go. Okay, what I've decided to do on the ends here, we want uh, we want to strengthen this up. I mean, this is pretty thin stuff. I mean, it's got some strength to it, but we don't want it giving trouble. So what we're going to do is we're going to make two plates to go in here to uh, to close this in, and then uh, that'll leave us enough room here to come up with some armrests and then uh, we'll come up with the backrest in the back and uh, so what I'm going to do first is get a pattern of this and uh, cut it out and then we'll weld it in these bolts here are sort of in the way but what we're going to do is weld them in because uh, they'll just work like studs and then we'll we'll sort of put our sheet metal over it and weld it in and, uh, should work but I'll show you how we're going to make the pattern and then uh, we're just going to make the pattern on one side and then we'll cut two pieces out and then we'll force the other side to be like the other one. That way they'll be the same. But uh, it's pretty simple. Okay, what we got here is just an old piece of plastic. Just lay it in there and mark it out. Cut that out on the bandsaw and that'll give us our pieces. Okay, now that we've got the pattern cut out the way we want it, we're just going to trace it over onto this piece of scrap sheet metal here. It's 16 gauge, I believe, and uh, we'll cut out two pieces here on the bandsaw and we'll get them welded in. Okay, we've got one side welded in. I have to do some grinding on it to get a get a good edge back on. But uh, our armrest will come up from here and out, and then our backrest will come from the back corner. Uh, we're gonna make sure and have some holes in the bottom of that. We don't want it to hold water, start rusting or anything. But anyway, we will uh, 
get to the other side and try to get it finished up. Okay, both sides are done, welded up, closed in. We just gotta figure out now what we're gonna do about the armrests and uh, the back. And, uh, or we could do the legs next because I, I can get a good idea on, on the height now. But uh, one or the other, but we're going to see what I can figure out on that. And I'll be back when I figure something out. Okay, well, we've got the back on. And uh, what I've done is I've just straightened it out some. And then I've tacked it across the bottom there at the back. And... We're going to uh, build the frame and then we'll be able to get our angle of the back where we want it and uh, get it set up and once we get that set up then uh, we can finish the back up but I'm going to get to work on the on the legs and of course the armrests but so far it's coming together pretty good and uh, we'll keep at it okay we got the back support on and uh, we're going to do it sort of the same way we've done the other one we'll cut two pieces and uh, and weld them in and uh, I've just got it sort of stuck in there a little more welding to do too and of course I had to extend the piece it wasn't long enough but that'll grind out not a big deal got the angle where I wanted it this actually should sit pretty good uh, I'm gonna, I'll get that top welded up and get them plates cutting in there and then we got to get the armrest finished up there on and the legs and or the feet there and we'll see if we can get her done okay we got the sides welded in uh, I think what we're going to do next, back's basically finished up. I got some more welding to do on it, but uh, what we're going to do next is uh, go ahead and put the legs on and uh, show you what I got. Okay, here's what I plan on using for the legs. Uh, you can see the way this is bent. This is arched. This is basically going to be my style of leg. This comes up six inches. I need it to come eight inches up. And uh, I've got two pieces of uh, flat bar here, about half inch. They don't match, but uh, and I looked around and I don't have anything that does match. And I don't plan on buying anything, so that's what we're going to use. We'll heat them and bend them up. We'll sort of use that as a jig, except we'll go eight inches. And uh, I'm going to leave it a little long on one side. And it'll actually be on the back side because as you can see all the weight's going to be further back this way than it is forward and to keep it from tilting back we'll uh we'll extend them back that way some but uh i'll get them bent up and then we'll figure out how we're going to mount them and and go from there once we get finished up with the legs we'll get back on the uh on the armrest and get them done and we'll probably uh Probably hold off on it. I think I'll finish the video off before I paint it and, and upload it here and uh, we'll paint it later and I'll do a little update on it. But, uh, but it's looking pretty good. Okay, we got them bent up here. And we'll see if I can't get them on. Uh, I'm going to drill a single hole in them. And I've got this upside down so it's just like a leaf spring on a car or anything else. I'll probably just build plates and uh, run bolts through. I don't have the U-bolts I need or for it, so we'll get them on there one way or the other. Okay, we got it mounted now. Uh, just made two plates, top and bottom, and uh, ran bolts through it. And, uh, didn't have any U-bolts. I had two, but they were a little bit too long. and I didn't want to 
try to make them, and I don't like using threaded rod for you bolts. It don't look very good, but I've got to, still got to do some grinding on the plates. But turned out pretty good. It sits good. The height ain't bad at all. So. Now all we got to do is get the armrests on and. We'll have the fabrication done anyway. Okay, we're just about done with this thing. Done with the fabrication anyway. Uh, got the fenders on. Still got a little bit of welding bracing to do, but there's a little bit of side-to-side -side play in it. And uh, mainly the brackets at the bottom are not are not tied together, so we're going to tie them together. I found this chain on the road, and uh, thought I was making out like a fat rat there, but uh, when I picked it up, I noticed that it had been drugged for a long ways, so it's no good. But I'm going to weld the links together on it. And make a brace to go from one side to the other and then uh, a few welds here and there and I think we're gonna we're gonna call it quits on this project and uh, we'll get some paint on it I want to try to find me another another light and of course this light I don't have mounted yet but it's sitting there but I want to put a I'm gonna put one on the other side too about the same spot and uh, I had to do something to cover up the the holes in it, so I think that'll be just fine. Show you more in a minute. Okay, we're all finished up. Chains on. Okay, we're finished up with everything we're going to do on it for now, and we'll uh, we'll do an update video on it when we paint it. And uh, I'm going to let you meet the the power behind the throne so to speak we're going to test it out here what do you think Hayden? it's good it's good? ready to go? Mm -hmm. alright we'll see you later bye, bye.